In an uncanny move, a bench headed by the Chief Justice of India, a bench of the Supreme Court, using unusually strong language to describe what they called were concerns about conduct of a constitutional authority no less than the Tamil Nadu governor. Now, this is extremely unusual. Let's bear in mind that the apex court, while describing the exercise of authority by other constitutional authorities, is usually quite reserved. This language is usually not used. But this time, the apex court, especially this bench headed by the Chief Justice of India, not sparing the Tamil Nadu governor. Now, why is that? Why this expression of concern from the highest court of the country? Now, let's dial back a few months. K. Punmudi is a senior leader within the DMK government, was facing charges of disproportionate assets, was facing an investigation and importantly, in the month of December, that's December of 2023, the Madras High Court had convicted him, had sentenced him to three years in jail in a disproportionate assets case. Now, subsequently, let's also keep in mind the Representation of People's Act. Section 8 of the RP Act or the Representation of People's Act very clearly provides that in case of conviction under a few listed offences, this automatically translates into a disqualification. Now, that's exactly what happened with K. Punmudi. However, things changed on March 11th. On March 11th, the Apex Court, while hearing this very case, had stayed this conviction. Now, a stay of conviction essentially allows for the person in question, which in this case happens to be K. Punmudi, to be reinstated. Now, that's exactly what the Tamil Nadu government sought to do. The Tamil Nadu government sought to reinstate K. Punmudi as a minister. And for reinstatement, a letter was shot off to the governor for allowing for swearing in of K. Punmudi. Now, what is interesting, however, is how things unfolded from there. The governor wrote back to the Tamil Nadu government saying that this is constitutionally immoral. The governor sought to remind the Tamil Nadu government of Section 8 of the RP Act. He pointed out in his letter uh, to the uh, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister that while there might have been a stay, it has not been set aside. The conviction has not been set aside by the top court and therefore it was seen as unfit by the governor of Tamil Nadu to go ahead and to swear in K. Punmudi. Now that is what inspired the proceedings that we saw today. Tamil Nadu government expectedly had moved the top court. It expressed its concerns. It shared this letter from the Tamil Nadu governor with the apex court. And that is what led to the sharp commentary that fell from the chief justice as well as the bench. Uh, the Supreme Court observed that this is not in keeping with the Indian constitution. The constitutional provisions are quite clear that in case of a stay that has been granted by none other than the highest court of the country, the governor is bound to reinstate and is bound to swear in that there is no authority that allows the governor to refuse such action and that this causes concern in the minds of the top court of the country. And it is in line with that that the apex court has now given just a 24-hour window to the Tamil Nadu governor. No less than the attorney general was present in the course of these hearings. And at the time, the chief justice made his voice clear that they are only allowing 24 hours for the Tamil Nadu governor to go ahead and to do his bit, failing which this case will be called out once again tomorrow. And that is when the apex court has said it will not be shy of passing orders, strong orders with respect to the conduct of Tamil Nadu governor, inspiring him to act in line with the Indian constitution. So uncannily strong language being used by the top court with respect to the Tamil Nadu governor.